the late, great Pope John Paul II, Saint John Paul II, one could argue perhaps the epitome of all that's good about national conservatism, once said that all that is, all that is noble and good is, was in John Paul. But he famously said that in the providence of God, there is no such thing as coincidence. So it is providential that we begin these deliberations of much import on this day, a day which is etched in memory and sadness, September the 11th, but also a day of resolve and determination. We pause as we begin and remember the fallen, the families who still grieve, all those who are still suffering. We also pray this day for the repose of the soul of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, that God may reward her for her life of faithful service. And we ask God's blessing on King Charles III as we end this Elizabethan age and enter the new Carolean age. We bow our prayer, heads in prayer in a moment of silence. O God of Abraham, God of our fathers, we ask your heavenly benediction on these days ahead. May this time be blessed, peaceful, harmonious, a time of concord and civility, charity and truth-telling. May your holy angels guard and guide us, preserve and protect us, and drive far from us the spirit of evil and all wicked spirits. In the words of St. Thomas More, may this time be a time when we do nobody harm, say none harm, think none harm, but wish everybody good. This we ask, Almighty God, for the glory of your name. Amen.